So today we're going to spotlight one of my favorite errors, and uh, this is an error that you can find all the way up to brand new 2022 coins, guys. And that's going to be the uh, the die clash. Um, what a die clash is is uh, uh, if you could uh, picture in your mind the way the minting process works. Uh, uh, the minting press has an anvil die and a hammer die. All right, and, uh, generally. The uh, stationary, non-moving um, component that, that has that particular die is the anvil die. Uh, the die that moves is the hammer die. Um, on the much newer coins, I, I believe the, uh, the obverse is now the anvil die. It's the stationary uh, position um, uh, of the side of the coin that is being struck. Uh, so... There is definitely some, some different changes uh, that we're seeing uh, on newer coins, and um, that's probably why we're seeing a lot of pretty pretty nice uh, errors come about, is that this change in, uh, I guess, roles, so to speak. But uh, with Clash Dies, uh, it's real simple. If there's no blank, blank planchet in the striking chamber, the dies, uh, both the anvil and the hammer dies, will clash together and make contact, therefore leaving their respective impressions on each die. And then any other coins that are subsequently struck will have little bits and pieces of that, that opposite side uh, or uh, the, the clash die uh, onto the uh, area. Uh, things like this. 2014 Lincoln set. This has the uh, uh, the shield clash right on the obverse of the coin. Uh, not not a really fantastic uh, photo. Uh, this 2020D right here is actually probably one of the better looking examples. Uh, if, uh, if we see here, we see the uh, the clashed elements uh, here behind Lincoln set and in front as well. Um, I think the these particular close ups are way too close, um, and they're not the they're not the best quality. You can even see Pluribusunum clashed into the opera die, right there before the strike. Um, ironically, it's a Denver Mint 2021, so uh, they can be found on both Philadelphia and Denver minted coins. That's the great news because a lot of folks have, uh, especially on the on the west coast of the U.S have a really hard time of finding anything meaningful uh, because the Denver Mint that normally services West Coast area, say we're west of the Mississippi, typically, uh, cranks out some pretty nice coins. Uh, this one right here looks like it's an annex graded example, although the close-ups of the slab label and no really great picture of the whole uh, slab um, a little bit undesirable in my eyes as far as a, uh, a listing. <clears throat> Let's see if we can find another one here that is uh, dynamite. Uh, now we're looking at live listings. There's 877 of them, but we, we just went through about 30 of them where one or two are actually clashes. Um, error, the keyword error, and die clash, and die break, and die chip. These are all commonly... Um, overused and abused words, key terms that people are putting into their listing title uh, so that way they have uh, some extra, uh, I guess, search power uh, when people are looking for a specific coin. That particular coin would come up on the list of uh, coins um, uh, for the results. And oftentimes, they're really not a, an error that is specified. This seems to be the coin of, uh, of, of the year so far, the 2022 Sally Ride uh, American Women Quarters with the amazing die clash. Uh, here's one right here. With shipping, it's at $51 uh, with just under a day remaining. And this is 15 bids. <clears throat> so uh, this... This coin right here, we're going to talk a little bit about this one here because uh, there's been some pretty pretty noteworthy sales. Uh, whether or not you want to personally believe that they're legit sales, we are going to talk about them. Um, 
and talk about why that they've they've come about. Uh, here's a few more Lincoln cents. Um, 2022 Lincoln cent die clash are really quite nice. Again, these are not the best photos. They're a little bit too close, and there's too much white balance um, issues there. But uh, overall, uh, die clashes. If you're able to find some um, uh, some really strong examples, they have sold for a really large amount of money. All right, and um, when we go and take a look at sold listings, the Sally Ride quarter that I wanted to draw your attention to. That sold on July 2nd, right around just over a week ago, uh, ended up selling for $415.26. Again, I, I always add shipping because that is a part of the total cost of the coin. Uh, 77 bids, can't really ignore that. That's a lot of bidding activity for this coin. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, so far, the highest recorded sale of this particular mint error um and ironically it has an overlay that was produced by one of our own on our live coin q a panel it's even got the live coin q a friggin logo sitting there so uh someone and i don't know if this person has dealt with us on the live coin q a panel that'd be a different story but you know we've seen the a live coin q a overlay that's done that was done by amanda show up on some of these listings all right and uh uh i don't think there was any a any uh permission granted to use these but we're talking ebay it could be a little bit uh um what's the word i'm looking for uh kind of like the wild west everybody's stealing each other's images on here uh, for use on their sales listings. But um, the other pictures are fantastic. Uh, and quite honestly, I don't I don't think, you know, we needed the overlay. All right. Uh, but, yeah, this is a very strong one right here. A very nice high-grade specimen at that. Um, the, the seller took a lot of pictures of the obverse and the reverse of the coin. Uh, and they're all pretty much the same. Um, no close-ups, nothing like that. Just full obverse and reverse images. I mean, I think one, one of each of the sides is more than suitable. And then, you know, again, a few few close-ups of the actual clashing would work. But, you know, $410 plus $5 in shipping is where this one sold at. Um, it's a re relatively fresh sale. I uh, wonder if uh, feedback was left yet. Let's go ahead and see here. <coughs> uh, let's see. About the past six months, I haven't seen anything yet. Um, here's one that this person had sold um, within the last month uh, for $63.36. So I, I would have... Um, I would be willing to guess that this is the same coin and sure enough it is um here's what that one looks like again uh utilizing the live coin q a overlays uh this is not original to this seller uh see it's even got the uh, live coin q a logo at the bottom from our channel uh but yeah everybody's using it so i i guess you know if it's it's a if it's helping sell the listing as long as you're selling a legitimate example of the error then it's fine you know but um yeah th this coin has seen some pretty wild price swings here as of late if we went back into uh the this uh, uh the sold listings panel 410 dollars again the the high high mark of that coin i, I doubt will ever be beat um, that just seems like a lot of money. And again, there's there's also a lot of concern of whether or not that was a true organically bid up coin or if it was shill bid bidded. All right. Uh, and the reason why that people shill bid those things is that it sets it sets a market bar. All right. So if the coins were originally selling for 80 to to $100 and someone 
sells one for four hundred dollars that that pretty much tries to reset the market in a way that the coin is worth a lot more than that 80 to 100 dollars that it's been selling for uh here's another really beautiful clash uh the prisoner sense is what you know these are referred to where you have the lincoln memorial clashed on the um the obverse dies on these are quite stupendous i i cannot stress this again just how beautiful these particular clashes appear um and the stronger they are the more dramatic and the more visually appealing that they're going to be um these these particular coins right here have um gained in popularity as of late uh i would say this this is not a coin that that blew up during the pandemic period of 2020 and 2021 like all the other coins this particular coin right here kind of blew up this year um but this is more of a classic case of you know following where the money flows um die clashing just seemed to have taken a lot more uh a, a lot more interest in, within the error community and people are actually uh, collecting these by attribution uh, because there, there's a website called maddieclashes.com uh, where people do collect these by the known attributed um, pieces that, that are on there. You guys ought to check it out. But again, this is such a pretty, very, very strong example. You can even see the uh, the outline of Lincoln's head on the reverse, uh, which is quite nice. Uh, but all the good stuff is on the obverse. This is probably the best picture right here where you could see those uh those uh memorial bays in there but uh there you go 185 dollars this was from uh, end of april 41 bits i distinctly remember this coin i think i even talked about it in one of my report videos uh but again a very strong number very very strong number one in which that i i think we will continue to see just really good outperforming numbers for it now here's the other highest known valued sally ride quarter major die clash this is the one i actually talked about on a pcmr a few a few episodes ago uh this one ended up at 146 dollars shipped 16 bids this is probably more along the lines of what i would envision of the coin being worth uh so somewhere in that 100 to 150 dollar range now there are a few examples that are currently listed through auction like like i said there's one that's at 40 some odd dollars um, that has just under a day left so we gotta keep an eye out on where that one ends up at um is it going to be at a hundred dollars plus i mean that's certainly going to uh support this particular price level for the coin um yeah that's a pretty neat one right there although you know not many people have access to the older coins here's a 72s proof roosevelt uh clashed clashed uh, dies this one however is graded ngc proof 65 cameo uh always go, always a good coin to find there uh any die clashes on proof coins are uh are are legit stuff um because the coins were produced in su at such a high level of detail and quality that normally you you don't see clashing on there but they do exist uh here's another one right here this is another solid sale uh with shipping this one ended at 104.99 for the sally ride um another really strong one there this one was on july 3rd so this one this one sold after the uh 400 example that so the four hundred dollar example sold on the second this one sold the day after here's another one right here so as you can see there's a, there's already enough sales through the last 10 days that i think a 75 to 100 dollar support line for these coins seems to be pretty fair um and that would make this the most valuable american women series of quarter error uh to have been found and that says a lot it really does uh here's another one here 75 dollars this was june 21st this one is a little bit on the weaker side uh, especially this back back one right here 
See, there's no one there. $77 with six bids. This one's July 6th. Again, keep keeping with the um, that level. Here's a July 10th sale at $74.25. 15 bids. So it appeared to me that there is enough supply um, to fulfill demand with this. Uh, it, it may be that the coin after it gets into the hands of the people that really want it, will end up not continuing that 80, 75 to $100 support level uh, for the value. I, I, I might be completely wrong uh, because we've seen general strong sales for things like the Washington Crossing to Delaware die chip that's on a 2021 P quarter. Uh, and also the uh, the burning building strike through on the Tuskegee Airmen from last year as well, all still selling with rather robust sales. Uh, although we're not seeing nearly as many radical, more dramatic uh, types of those errors from last year, because again, we're, we're talking about attrition here. The coins are going to circulation; they're getting damaged, they're getting banged around. Um, people want the high end examples. And uh, they don't want one that's seen a lot of circulation. So, um, you know, that's just kind of par for the course. And, you know, these coins will end up circulating over time. And then, the, you know, these are going to follow the same same trajectory for desirability at some of the more lower levels. But as you can see, there's quite a, quite a bit of activity um, making this a very, very incredibly valuable coin to look out there in circulation. For those of you... On the East Coast, great news. Um, this is a coin right here that is all over the place, I would imagine. Um, between this, the Maya Angelou, and the uh, the new Wilma Mankiller quarters. Yeah, I mean, you have three of them, and they're all circulating right now. And uh, often t and right now, you're probably still finding uh, a lot of really premium examples of these coins at a high grade. Um, to where they're going to be worth a considerable premium on the secondary market. And we may see that through to the end of the year. Um, with that being said, uh, there is a brand new Clash Die Wilma Mankiller quarter that we're going to talk a little bit more about. Uh, that one is uh, uh, needs a little bit more research. That one actually came into our live coin Q&A email. And uh, we're going to uh, uh, do some more research on that coin before we make an official announcement of, you know, is it is it right? Is it is what it is? Or, you know, something to that effect. So uh, we'll let you guys know uh, when that information comes across. But, um, yeah, Clash dies, man, all over the place on newer coins. Um, they're leaving their footprint literally on a lot of the new coins. Um, before we go, I wanted to also take a little bit of time to um, to discuss the Coin World article uh, where they had uh, uh, they had interviewed one of the uh, folks at the U.S. Mint, uh, and uh, actually a pretty good bit of news, and uh, you know, quite honestly, probably not too surprising, but the U.S. Mint. Uh, has taken a uh, a about sixty percent of all of the P D two thousand twenty two candy half dollars, and they are sending them out to circulation, kind of like what they did last year with two thousand twenty ones. Um, it's been reported by a number of uh, half dollar roll hunters that they're finding full boxes of two thousand twenty one candy half dollars out there, and then uh, we are going to see. People going to the bank and then finding full boxes of 2022 P and D mint candy half dollars out there. Uh, I think one of the questions that that I personally have that we could go ahead and address is how much is a full roll of these candy half dollar coins? Um, because even though they're being sent out to circulation, uh, they are still considered an NIFC, which is a not intended for circulation issue. And um, the uh, the coins are only available through the U.S. Mint website. 
So as you can see, uh, this is the U.S. I don't know. This looks like a U.S. mint packaged deal here. Uh, P and D set two rolls for sixty-three dollars seventy-five cents. Here's a 2021. This is a bank wrapped roll. 2021 D candy half rolls, high grade coins, nineteen dollars. I believe there was what ten dollars face in a roll. So, um, yeah, not much profit to be made there. So. Uh, yeah, people are selling them for around 20 bucks, 18 to 20 dollars for a roll. Uh, not a lot of sales activity. Um, but you know, there are people that still want them. If you do come across them as opposed to breaking them open, you could always turn around and resell them. Uh, you know, if you could make maybe uh, seven or eight dollars per roll uh, after fees and shipping, that might be the way to go. And uh, seeing as how the brand new 2022s are going to be the flavor of the month or the year or whatever, you might be able to achieve a little bit more for that. Now, as part of this whole process of sending these, these candy half dollars out, obviously, they are completely sold out at the Mint. All right. Uh, they, they've been um, unavailable, I guess, since May. And... Um, yeah, the, due to a weird twist of fate, the, the coins are, are going to end up in circulation again, much like they were last year. So something to keep an eye out for, especially for you dedicated roll hunters of candies. I know there's a lot of you out there. These things are as good as finding silver. Um, so, yeah, that's what I want to talk about today. Uh, a little bit of update on the, um, the, um, Sally Ride Die Clash quarter or quarter uh, debacle uh, with that high sale of four hundred dollars uh, kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. They, again, a lot of question marks to the legitimacy of that particular auction. Um, again, try try and not participate in any shill bidding of that type um, because it's going to skew the market in a way that um, that there's going to be a lot of negativity toward the coin because of things like that. And um, it, it, could, it could very well negatively impact the value of the coins, too, in the short term um, to where people won't want them, all right? Because if the price gets too prohibitive for people to afford, they're just going to, you know, stand back and say, well, $400 or other things I'd rather pay money on rather than a brand new quarter with a die clash, which is just okay, you know? So that's going to go ahead and do it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Sean, with Blue Ridge Silverhound. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my video and the channel if you haven't done so already. All the extra support will go a long way in making sure that I continue to crank out more uh, decent quality videos for you. Uh, a lot of high-power educational stuff. It's always good for the soul, man. So, yeah, love you guys. Thank you again for all your views and support. And uh, I will check back with you guys here real soon. All right. Happy hunting.